is already here. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is already here. Yeah. Hallelujah. It is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is already here. Yeah. We are going to be blessed today. Jesus Christ is already here. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is already here. Yeah. We are going to be blessed today because Jesus Christ is already here. The Holy Ghost is already here. Our Father, we thank you because you bless us at all times. Hallelujah. Thank you for sparing our lives to witness the first Thursday in the month of August 2020. Hallelujah. Thank you for the great things you've done in our lives. Thank you for the greater things you shall do today. Lord, we pray. That this new month, you do new things in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Things that no one can deny. Miracles that cannot be covered. Miracles that cannot be rubbished. Father, visit us with such in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your hand be good upon us, upon all our viewers, upon our listeners, upon this country in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless us, O Lord. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We give all glory to God for the grace given to us to say another Thursday. We bless His holy name for keeping us, for providing for all our needs, and for protecting us. This month for you and your family will be a month of great happiness for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go into the word of God, I want you to offer this prayer point. Almighty God, do a mighty thing in my life. Almighty God, do a mighty thing in my life. Do a mighty thing in my family. Do a mighty thing in my family. Do a mighty thing in my world this morning. Do a mighty thing in this country this morning. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus Christ. Do something great in my life. Something great in my life. Something great in my life. Oh Lord. month for you a month of great miracles in Jesus name. Amen. For this month in our faith cleaning prayer meeting, the thing we shall be considering is deliverance from the powers of darkness. Deliverance from the powers of darkness. This is part one of it. Under this part one, we shall be talking on how demons attack people. Be aware, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Deliverance is a word that has been heard, that has been used by many people. It has been misused, it has been misinterpreted, it has been, it has been bastardized by many. And because it has been bastardized by many, the devil has succeeded in deceiving some that, forget about deliverance, there's nothing deliverance. 
This month we want to consider what deliverance is according to the Bible. No sui afel be ye okay ni bibeli pe ni tu sile kan. I'm prepared for the mighty visitation of God upon your lives in Jesus name. Amen. Adam put so fun pe ko mura de tu sile lati be wo lalato de Lord wa loruko Jesus ami. Let's hear what our master the Lord Jesus has to say about deliverance. Eja gbon ti Oluwa wa Jesus Christ we ni pa tan pe ni tu sile. In the book of Mark chapter 16. Nu we Mark o ri kerin ti ni ogun. Mark chapter 16. Mark o ri kerin din ogun we shall read verses 15 to 18 aka ese ke dogun si ese ikeji din ogun mark 16 mark o ri kerin din ogun i'll be reading verses 15 to 18 ma mo ka ese ke dogun si ese ikeji din ogun and he said to them o si fun won pe go into all the world and si gugu aye and preach the gospel to every creature o wa so ire fun gugu e da he who believes and is baptized e si o gba gbo ti a baptize he be saved yo la But he who does not believe will be condemned. Verse 17. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. This is our Lord Jesus speaking. Jesus Oluwa lo soro nbi when he was running off his early ministry. Remember to pari share ase pari share la ye. He commissioned all his disciples. O so fun awon omo eyin re. All his followers. Gbogbo awon ti o tele. All children of God. Gbogbo awon omo Olorun to preach the gospel. Lati wa asun ire re Christi. In order to bring people ah uh, into the kingdom of Lati mu awon e wa sinu ojo ba Christi. And as we preach, ba se nwa asun. He says signs to follow. O le so pe ame se ame se nu lo tele. Is calling out one man. Is casting out of the only she she it i want to want say people no dey so what is deliverance you have to learn to start with you must understand the word deliverance if you don't want to misinterpret misuse or bastardize i got a month and we need to learn that about her she boss she too much she low deliverance is casting out of demons from people that are being uh, afflicted by demons it is an ni le awon emi esu jade ko ri ninu aye awon eni ti esu yin daroro when demons or evil spirits are driven out of somebody that they are afflicting or oppressing that is what is called deliverance ti a ba le emi esu ati emi buru jade ko ninu aye eni ti won daroro ta pe ni to sile ni e jesus in that passage said as you go ni bi ta so e o ni pe ba se lo as you preach ba se wa so we should cast out demons come on le awon emi esu jade why did jesus say this kini di jesus bi so be Early ministry of Jesus. Hardly, hardly was there a day he went out to preach without casting out demons. Why? The presence of a single demon is able to frustrate the program of God in anyone. And one of the things Jesus has come to do on earth is to conquer Satan and his demons. So I want to define deliverance comprehensively and explain it. So my first So that the Lord will be able to walk in your life and your family through this message. The definition of deliverance, the full definition. Hey, two more, 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 It is a comprehensive process of setting free someone who is under satanic influence. This process includes diagnosing the case, administering deliverance prayer, recommending measures or steps of retaining deliverance, and follow up of the delivered person. For this definition, ni pa itu itu mo itu se dan so yi. Deliverance is not just one a one time thing. In that when itu se kan je ndo se ke sele ndo kan sa. It is a process. O je awon oni awon igbese ta gbe. Several people have, have, have approached me several times they will tell me pastor I've gone for deliverance. Yet I'm still having problems. The, the definition of deliverance makes us understand that one, it is a process. When you say something is a process, that means you take it step 
by steps. It undergoes some stages. And this process, uh, the, the target of the process is to set free somebody that is under the influence of Satan. And in conducting deliverance, the first step is to diagonize the problem. You diagonize the problem. Come just say, Pastor, I need deliverance. Or what? I just need deliverance. It's like you, it's like you go, go to a doctor. And when you go to the medical doctor, say, Doctor, I need injection. Oh, I need tablets. Or what? 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 Or for what purpose? And I just need it. There's no doctor that will treat you. doctor to who son to Except if it's a quack. And that is one of the uh, misinterpretations and misinformation about delivery. The, the case of that person must first be diagonized. Having been diagonized, deliverance prayer should be administered. Deliverance prayer is different from um, so, uh, prayers of supplication. Deliverance prayer is a warfare prayer. Deliverance prayer is targeted at spirits oh. that cause problems in their victims. In deliverance prayer, you attack Satan directly with all his agents. And if you take some time, having done that, if after the demons have been cast out of that presence, Measures and steps of retaining deliverance should be told to that person. I want to build in base at your jacky into say you what it's in my area. But also, you see, if you if demons are cast out of somebody, and the person goes back to do what he's supposed not to do, then he back for a lot. Deshe that we shouldn't do. You push it, demons will still come back. I want me you work for the name. Look, we have the book of Matthew 12. No, we're Matthew, we're going to be verse 23 to 45. You know, I said, get that the link. Says, if a demon is cast out of somebody, that the demon goes out to look for where to, to reside. But if he finds none, Jesus said he will come back to where he has been driven out from. If he met that place empty, he will now go collect several spirits that are stronger than ah, himself ah, and they will begin to dwell in that person ah, and the life of that person will be worse than his former ah, life ah, so if you don't take measures after you have been delivered if you don't follow some processes or some protocols demons can still affect you and destroy you that is, that is the reason some people say they have gone for deliverance and in several cases in several places yet their problems have come back as if God is not powerful. After you have been delivered, you must begin to do some things in order to retain your deliverance, which we shall explain later during this month. I'll finally, there should be follow, follow up. You see, deliverance cases is just like um, a case of somebody that is sick that has gone to a medical doctor. If you said that you go to a medical doctor and drugs are prescribed. For you, the doctor will tell you, having finished uh, using this drug, come back. Doctor, he wants to follow you up. Many don't do that. And later, if they have other problems, they say, Oh, those pastors are just deceiving us. Maybe they are using evil spirits to travel. And that is why the demons are coming back. If you have malaria and it was treated, if you don't follow 
loss of hygiene and other things, the malaria will still reoccur. So, but I tell you, I want to lira me to ye po she be by mato to ati bebe lo ima ima ayi san boto para wa. I want you to offer a prayer point at this juncture. Oh, but do I make a day? Lord, this month, Olu alo shu ye. Open my understanding. She ye ki ye mi o she. This morning, la aro ye. Holy Spirit, illuminate my spiritual eyes. She me ni ye lo leki. Let me see. Let me see the hidden things about my life. Can ye a one kato pamanu a ye mi. It has to do with uh, having cast out demons. The life you need to live, life of holiness. And you must be prayerful. And you must be prayerful. And other things to follow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like we said, deliverance simply means casting out of demons from their victims. But this life you need very pay. How do demons attack people? Who are demons? You've been hearing this word. Demons, demons, demons. Some will be eating even when the um, cock is, is bubbling. They say there are demons there. Are demons everywhere? Who are they? Let us see the Bible. Demons are fallen angels. That the, that the Lord cast out of heaven along with Satan. When Satan rebelled against God, when Satan rebelled against God, he won some angels to his side. And they failed. Of course, you can't fight against God and oh, overpower over over So God sent them out of heaven. Let's see the book of Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 12. I'll read from verse 7. And what broke out in heaven? Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. Michael and Angel in the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. There was a place found for them. Really so the great dragon was cast out. As the dragon in Lana Jade, that serpent of old told the devil and Satan who deceived the whole world. He was cast into the earth. Listen, and his angels were cast out with him. That was Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. The angels that that rebelled along with Satan against God are now referred to as demons after they have been driven out of heaven. And this doctor, my dear brother and sister, don't be involved in rebellion. Rebellion is, is an evil thing. It is an evil work. In fact, that was the first sin committed by Satan. Only uh, he rebelled against his maker. Don't rebel against your leader. Don't rebel against your master. Don't rebel against anyone. If somebody has done something which you did not understand, go to that person and don't gather people together. If you do that, the evil spirit is in you. The Lord will oppress you. So demons are 
they were once angels of God. But when they rebelled, God drove them out of heaven. And they were doomed to death. Verse 12 of that book says, When they were driven in unto the earth, and angels stood up. And angel, one angel, he rose up. He said, Rejoice! Because the devil has been driven out of it. The same angel said, Woe unto the earth and all that live on earth because Satan has been driven to death. And he came in great anger. And that is when the devil started his kingdom. So that is why human beings have problems. Many people have asked several times, Why do we have problems? If God is good, if God is merciful, it is not God that is causing problems. It is Satan. Three days ago, for example, at Lebanon, in Beirut, in Beirut, there was uh, uh, there was explosions. There were two explosions. Thousands of people were injured. Over hundred have been killed. By whom? By those who are inspired by Satan. I want you to be I pray you will not be an agent of Satan in Jesus' name. Amen. So these demons are the earthly agent of Satan. I want me buruku. You want jail and share Satan. They are spirits. Amen. Another word used for them is evil spirit. Jesus often calls them unclean spirits. They are evil. They are wicked. They don't do good things. They can never do good things. You need to fight against them. I want to offer another prayer point. Tell the Lord every influence of demons in my life, in my family, in my business, Lord of Jesus, destroy this one. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus, every influence of demons in my life. In no my family, my ministry, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Not destroy every of your influences upon my life, upon my family, upon my ministry, upon my church and the country. In the name of Jesus, destroy the influences. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Satan is not omnipresent. Satan is not omnipresent. He can only be at a place at a uh, at a time. He be can only one. He be can only. But yes, it's demons all over the world. You go only a one. He run share any book boye. Those are the uh, spirits he uses as he say. A one any any meton no be. He a one run share. To wreck a book. Lati mu ala wa. To cause accident. Lati fight ya jaba ko. To cause sickness. Lati fight I saw. To cause division. Lati fight yapa. To go. To cause bloodshed. Lati fight itajesile. To cause chaos. Lati fight so da da muda da muda. Demons are not peaceful. Ah, when me shu when you when when you say that. They are always violent. When eh me shu ni wanda wanda wa ala. I'm very destructive. When you bank and jai kwenye. They will not have power over you. Hey man, when la galori elu kaje swa. But the good news I for you this morning. Shume ro ya yo kampe ni bomo ala ro yi. Children of God is that you. You can be delivered and from them totally. And you can overcome them as well. So, how do these demons attack people? How did they influence human beings? Let me tell you this, that their targets are human beings. Why? Because... The devil hates human beings with passion. That was why he went to the Garden of Eden to deceive Eve. And since then, Last he, has been, he has been influencing human beings negatively. The Lord will deliver you from his power today in Jesus' name. Amen. So demons... Influence people, they attack people in three ways. The first way is called possession. When you say possession, 
What does the, that mean? Kilo too much, see? That means evil spirit will take over human spirit. Then, then when the evil spirit take control, when they enter into the spirit of human beings, human beings are tripartite beings. We are made up of three parts. The spirit, the soul, and the body. The, it is the spirit of man that God communicates with. It is this spirit that makes us a spiritual being. And God wants to communicate with that spirit. Satan too wants to take over human spirit. So the spirit of man is always in between the spirit of God and the spirit of Satan. So, the spirit of man is the, at the receiving end. It's in the middle. The Holy Spirit wants to take over your spirit. Demons want to take over your spirit. And that's why the Bible says, to whom you surrender your spirit, the slave of that person you are. So the, when when demons take over the spirit of human being, it is that that is called possession. That means the the the, the evil spirit has taken over the life of human being. You are voluntarily given your life to him. So when people are said to be possessed, that tells you that they are agents of Satan. People that have sold themselves and the to the Satan. Satan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it is not everybody that is influenced by demons that are possessed. For example, uh, witches. Wizards, spirits, they are possessed because their spirit has been given unto Satan. Let us see an example in the Bible. The book of Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. We will read verses 16 to 19. Acts chapter 16. Verses 16 to 19. Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Who brought our masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. Listen. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. Verse 19 says, But when our masters saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Macedonia, Macedonia. there was a young girl that some wicked people are using to make him money. She was possessed by demons. Demon of divination. That, that we can call demon of prophecy. And that is why those of you that are looking for revelation and prophecy, be careful. It is not every prophecy and revelation that comes from God. In our, in our generation, most of the prophecy we hear from so called ministers of God are fake, they are demonic. They are using evil spirits. This is an example. What many don't know is that Satan knows a lot of things about many people. Because Satan is a spirit. When you talk of revelation, revelation is when your, open, your eyes, your spiritual eyes are open and you can see into the spirit realm. 
And that when you are in the bed, you are not going to be able to do it. But Satan is a spirit, so he lives in the spirit realm 24 hours. So he should have a million, no, a million, one, and he will go to So this lady, listen to her prophecy. She was, she, she, oh God, she was part of the team of Paul. Oh, God, yeah, I can't, I want to tell the Paul about the city. The disciples will be thanking God for Allah. I want me, you want to do better. Allah, no for more. This is what Bible says. The Bible says for several days. She was following Paul. I'm listening to a prophecy. Yeah, the word of God. These are ministers of God. I want more. Allah, you don't know. They are preaching the way of salvation to the man. Does that sound godly? Say you dabe, say you dabe, could dabe with me? Does it sound godly? Say you dabe, you be your mother. Yes, yes, it does. But what with what with what power? Should we be a With what spirit? Then we are be a evil spirit. Then we are be And that is why the devil has succeeded in keeping many in bondage today through visions and revelation and false prophecies. Stop following visions and prophecies. Go to the word of God. Read the Bible. The Bible is the greatest prophet. Many have been deceived by prophets. Especially in our generation, they tell you, you know that there is a prophet there. You know that there is a prophet of You don't need to announce if you are a prophet of God. Don't never say that. Paul Peter never said that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is an example of possession. That lady was possessed. And and you, you see, you see that, 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 that verse tells us. Uh, verse 18 says, And this she did for many days. But Paul really annoyed turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. The, Paul, I mean, Paul addressed the spirit, not the woman. Paul, look by me and we, kiss you or more than look by One of the reasons why uh, deliverance ministry has been rubbished and bastardized is because some people, while they profess to be conducting deliverance, they use broom, they use cane, they use uh, palm fronds on people in order to cast out demons. That is rubbish. It's unbiblical. In fact, it's demonic. It is not that person that that is was cast out of cast out of her. She was not able to perform for Satan any longer. I want you to pray at this point. Every evil spirit that has taken over my spirit, fire of God, flush them out today. Every evil spirit that has taken over the life of my wife, of my children, of my husband, fire of God, consume them today. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, send down the fire into my spirit this morning. Send down the fire into my spirit. Every demonic influence upon my spirit be consumed by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. By fire. Every demonic spirit that has taken over the spirit of my life, of my children, be consumed by fire, by fire, by fire. Pray, 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 pray. The only language to understand is violence. Let's go down the fire of God. Fire of God consume them. In Jesus' name, Amen. That is what is called possession. Those who have given themselves to say that, who are the agent of say that. The second aspect is what is called obsession. Uh, what is obsession? Obsession is when Satan controls one's mind. There is difference between spirit and soul. The spirit of man, the Bible says, is the candle of God. The spirit of 
fitila alone, the candle of God. That means only a fitila at any time. Unless when God wants to talk to you, He speaks to your spirit. Never talk about the penny or asshole. The past year, me and you. At conversion, the day you gave your life to Christ. Never say if I hear for Jesus. It is your spirit that God born again. That means me. You para bojo yeah. But the soul. Does not get converted immediately. Ah, see, you can hear para lojo ese. The soul, when you give your life to Christ, never do about if I hear from Jesus. Your soul, another word that is given to soul is the mind. If uh, to my mind, I don't know can hear a raw can hear. Ah, another word the Bible talks about the soul or mind in the book of Romans is the flesh. If come to all of us only, ara ni no wero mo. The flesh or the soul or the mind does not get born again instantly. All can hear that be ara ara ko kan ko yi para lojo ke ke yi para lojo kan. The conversion of the soul is a gradual process. And that is what is called sanctification. Sanctification. You know many Christians talk at justification, that's the conversion. They, they profess Jesus as Lord and Savior. They don't go through sanctification. Sanctification is a process every child of God has to go through for the rest of your life. Why? Your mind or your soul is being polluted every day. And by things you hear and things you see. So you need to be washed by the word of God every day. And that is what is called sanctification. Any Christian that does not go through sanctification. Any Christian can You easily identify them. They may be going to church. They may be church workers. But they will talk carelessly. They will behave carelessly. In fact, at times people will doubt their salvation. They have given their life to Christ. But they don't allow God's sanctification. 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 They don't allow God's allow God's sanctification. They don't 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 allow God's sanctification. The devil uses this soul more than any other thing. So obsession is different from possession. When the when obsession in Yoruba means yalo. When demons influence you into doing evil things against your own wish. You don't deliberately do evil things. But when that power, when that spirit comes over you, you do evil things. Having done it, you regret. Please have mercy on me. I don't want to do it. If I do it again, don't talk my head. God does not need to come to me. What you need is sanctification. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the death, you know, Many cases of evil that we have, we have in our generation. They fall under the second category, that is obsession. That is when the devil or demons take over your mind. And that is why you should be careful of what you read and what you watch. As because, of, because of hardship, because of problems in this direction, the devil. Uh, Try to place on our mind. Try to play on our mind. Let's only have one time to do what I feel like. Oja wa a shoot you one back. Kuswa kwa one dali o kwa tibiti afe. He will speak to your mind. Go and kill. Ah, so see you see a lot of people. Make a lot of money. Ah, make drug ritual. Money ritual. Go to go go to one alone law. Go to Yahu. Law say Yahu Yahu. Go and rape somebody. Law fi papa yelo ko. Go and drink. Law moti. So that you get out of your soul. Go back back to Rore. That is obsession. In that way, you are not a mere sunni. You are not a mere sunni. You are not. An agent of Satan. Oh, he say you are so controlled. When you are obsessed, most of these um um suicidal cases we hear, or husband killing their wives, wives killing their uh, their husband, it's as a result of being obsessed. Their mind has been taken over by demons. Two months ago in the Western world, a man, an 83-year-old man, killed his wife. Ne, or said, yes, I hear. Okunrekanoke, okun. 
And when he was arrested, he was crying. He said he didn't know. Such a person needs deliverance. That is not possession, but he's been, the mind is under the influence of demons when he was carrying out that evil thing. That is why youth run away from anything that can control your mind. Can run away from hard drugs. Run away from alcoholic drinks. Anything that influences your mind negatively. Anything that makes you high. Run away from it. It is demonic. It will destroy you. Yo, by here, I pray that the Lord will not allow the devil to destroy you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray at this juncture. Every evil seed <laughs> that the devil has sown into my thoughts, <laughs> into my mind, <laughs> Holy Spirit, <laughs> open them this morning. <laughs> and let them come to God. Shall you pray in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every That makes my wife fire of God. Hey, no, Lord, my life. Zoom that out. Get out of my mind. That day, no, Can no, you pray Jesus name? In the name no, of Jesus. Yes. Every satanic arrow. Fire into my mind. Into the mind of my wife. Into the mind of my children. By fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. We consume. We consume. In the mind of our listeners. In the mind of our viewers. In the name of Jesus. Be consumed. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. The third way through which demons attack their victims is what we call oppression. Oppression. The first one is possession. The second one is obsession. Yeah. Yeah. The third one is oppression. Yeah. Demons, one of the things they do most is to oppress. Oppression means to afflict human beings. That is done mostly to the body. I told you at the beginning of this message that human beings are most of what Every man being has spirit. Every human being has soul. Every man being has body. So demons afflict the body. With sickness. With poverty. With death. With loss of job. And the, the, the target of Satan for all this is to make you lose heaven. You will not lose heaven. Amen. But if you have not given your life to Christ, this is another opportunity. For you. you can't handle the devil. Oh, 
without Christ. Life is Christian. It is not possible. Life There is no person that can overcome Satan and his demons. It is only those who are giving themselves to Christ. I want to deliver Jesus. So if you need deliverance, come to Christ. Why are not Christian? Don't be deceived by you. Don't be deceived by you. Don't be deceived by you. Don't be deceived by that when the, the light candles for you, you uh, the demons go, they go nowhere. Abalis cannot deliver you. It is only Jesus Christ. And it does that through his death and resurrection. So demons afflict people. In the book of Mark chapter 9. Because of our time, we will not be able to read. Verses 17 to 29. A man brought his son to Jesus. He was being afflicted. In three ways. He was deaf. He was dumb. He was epileptic. The man said this problem started when this boy was he said he has thrown him into fire and into water several times. The man said he wanted to destroy him. That is the target of Satan. He's a destroyer. I want you to shout loud and Holy Spirit, don't allow Satan to destroy me. Every plan of Satan to destroy me. Lord, frustrate me. I am in the name of the Lord. Satan afflict people. Satan all over the world. The cases of banditry. Boko Haram, headsmen, terrorism in Nigeria and all over the world are influenced by demons. One of the things, one of the ways by which we can over, overcome them is for Christians to begin to pray against these demons. If we don't pray against them, they will continue to increase in their in their Pray against them at your house. Pray against them at your church. Work against them. So Christians cannot be possessed. I want But Christians can be obsessed. And Christians can be oppressed. And that is why Christians need deliverance. That's why everybody needs deliverance. From, by the grace of God, from this we'll be talking about those who need deliverance and we'll be, the Lord will be helping us to reveal the categories of people that need deliverance. What the devil attacks most in our lives is our mind. I want us to read a, a, a Bible passage, 7 Corinthians 11 3. 7 Corinthians 11 3. Let me read from um, Easy English Version. But I am afraid that you might become like Eve. This next told her things that were not true. And because he was so clever, she believed him. And I'm afraid that you might start to believe wrong ideas too. So then, as a result, you might stop believing and loving only Christ. That is easy English version. Uh, international Standard Version says, However, I am afraid that just as the serpent deceived Eve by its tricks, so your minds may somehow be lured away from sincere 
and pure devotion to the Messiah. Let it be read in Yoruba. Second Corinthians 11. Corinthians KG. Ori go kan lai seketa. Erun ba mi. Be ki e tama wo inu okan yin. Ti e o fi yakuro ninu otito ati okan kan. Ti e fi wa ninu Christi. Bi e joti fi are kere kere tan e fa je. Listen. E bo e yon mo lono. Satan and his demons do not force people to do anything. E su a da homo gwe. Wan e fi e pa mo yon la di se okan kan. They only be seen. Wan ka man tan yon ni. Like this passage says. Bi bi je wi. Eve was not forced. Eva, ki de pe su fi amu. The devil did not forced. He did not force the, the, the forbidden fruit into the mouth of so him. Fitifa, the pathway, so fun, e fa, so he only deceives you. No if you eat it, you will not die. You will become like God. Will become like God. Will become like God. Will become like Adam was not there. Adam was in and when Adam came, remember, remember the, the, the spirit of the seed has possessed Eve then. She too deceived her husband. You will not die. You will be like God. Yes. Then they became prey to the devil. Until today, Tony, we are still under the influence. But the Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God has come to destroy the world. If you want to overcome this devil, read the word of God every day. The word of God is like water. It washes your mind. Oh, man, for Kenya. Of all the impurities. I go Be careful of what you watch. Yes, Be careful of what yes, you, you, you read. Yes, I want to Be careful of what you listen to. Yes, I want to go The eyes and the air are two two ways, two major ways by which demons have access into your mind. Oh, do at it. Yeah, I can learn how to walk. But at it, yes, man, why you want to And that's why the Bible tells us in Proverbs four twenty three that. Guard your heart, protect your mind with all diligence. You want to be delivered? Give your life to Jesus. You have given your life to Him. Follow this uh, precaution. We will begin to pray from today. For the rest of this month, as many of you that are under the bondage of Satan, the power of God is set to free. Amen. I'm going to pray some prayer first. Before we close for today, tell the Lord, fire of God, come into my spirit, into my soul, into my body. Every deposit of darkness in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, be consumed by fire. Shall we pray to Jesus in the name of Jesus? Holy Spirit, send your fire into my spirit, into my soul, into my body. Let every devil of darkness in my spirit and my body be consumed. Be consumed by fire, 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 by of death into your mind. Hey, it's a time to be a heroic Christian. That you want to kill yourself. Don't so much let me let me go to the past. No, 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 no. Pray. But what? Every evil seed. But boy, look, boy, of death in my in my mind. Cool in your coming. Be consumed by fire. Hey, my dinosaur. Get out of my mind. Just the one of them. Shall we pray to the Lord? But what? In the name of Jesus. The spirit of death. You were me. I love death. You were me. That I be shot into the mind of that fast. No, I don't know. Shot into the mind of that fast. In the child of that. Lord, Lord, let 
Your Holy Spirit possesses me from me. Where the Holy Spirit possesses you. Demons will not have influence over your life. Holy Spirit. Take over my spirit. Take over my soul. Take over my body. And if you want the Holy Spirit to possess you, feed on the word of God. Daily. Pray daily. Not Sagadelli prayer. No prayer when you are making calls. Have time for God. Don't worry about that next week. Have to submit. Take over my spirit. Take over my spirit. Take over my body. Take over my body. Father, we want to register our appreciation this morning for Hita to you have helped us this morning. Receive praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray as many that are listening and have still listening, Holy Spirit. Deliver them from every power, every aspect of their life that is being possessed by the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you, you deliver them from the spirit of obsession in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. We pray as many that be afflicted from the power of darkness from this demon. They are that we should start delivering this morning in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, our Hebrew Redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Let that be your only name, Father. Hallelujah. Pray for the sons of this world that you replenish him the more in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Pray, Holy Spirit, prepare for your kingdom yourself in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Hebrew Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' anointed name we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to sincerely appreciate God for how far He has helped us this morning. This message is coming from you to you live from Christ Holy Church. Grace Tabernacle Zona Headquarters in Jejata Dosru Lane, Lagos. And by the grace of God, we'll be happy to have you again next week, uh, 9 to 10 a.m. is the time. This program is Faith Clinic. It's an interdimensional prayer program. You can share it if you're on Facebook. You can share it to people. Let people enjoy the grace of God. And let them pray and be set free from every power of darkness. And likewise, on Sunday, by the grace of God, we'll be still coming your way live. Though we thank God that the Lagos Lake, your church has finally opened. Um, but by the grace of God, the time will be changed. The time will be 10 20. 10 20 a.m. That is the time for the message. That is the time you listen for the message. 10 20 a.m. to 11 a.m. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And every Monday is our Bible study time where we dip deep in the Word of God. Still, you will still be listening to us via this channel 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday. That is the time. Please join us as the Lord will be blessing you in Jesus' name. Till we meet again next week, remain rapturable. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for Nigeria. We thank you for our leaders, for the governor of Lagos State, Sanwolu. We bless you for the uh, governor of Ogun State, Ekiti. And all other governors in this state, in, in this country, we thank God for all our uh, commissioners, all our uh, senators, ministers, president and vice president. We commit you all to the Lord. The Lord will be with you. The fear of God will guide you Amen. into taking decisions that will affect the lives of the masses positively in Jesus. Amen. Christ. The Lord will take control of your lives and he will, he, will, he will carry your body with you in Jesus. Christ. Amen. Nigeria will begin to experience peace in Jesus' name. Amen. No more war in this country. Amen. No more bloodshed in Jesus' name. Amen. No more pandemic in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, heal this uh, nation and all other nations of the world of this pandemic with your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall well with you. Amen. Commit our viewers and listeners to God. As you go this week, the Lord will go with you. Amen. This month is declared your month of mighty visitation. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Bye-bye.